And of course, then we've got our finale item. You know it's Hubei. I've already kind of let the cat out of the bag. It's an amazing finale item. Jay, first time airing, sapphires and emeralds. Uh, first of all, you talk about the big three, right? You talk about your rubies, you talk about your sapphires, you talk about your emeralds. We've got sapphires and emeralds together in here. You've got the most, I mean, seriously, beautiful combination. If you appreciate fine jewelry, high-end jewelry, you'll really get a kick out of this. It's $99.98. Uh, you know, I, I always love the little statistics. Um, Jay, I don't know if you were aware of this, but before we went live today on the show, the biggest pre-sale item was this. This was the item that had sold the most. So folks that are perusing, browsing, looking at your showcase, all gravitated towards this. Jared, how many did you say are left? at this stage? Okay, so a little under 900 before it's completely reserved. It's a staple piece for this visit. Jay, why do you think this one has been so red hot? Well, number one, okay, we, we were able to, to actually um, finish the last, the last of the last of, of the ones that we had. This right here, you've got all the colors of sapphire. Okay, the difference is, do you notice they're round beads? They're round faceted beads. Um, so what you did is you just lost, um, you, the average yield on a round bead, especially in sapphires, is you're from, you maybe get 5%, 5%, 7%'s a miracle. You get 10%, you write home to mom and send her a little extra cash for Christmas, okay? <laughs> it's, it's just really, um, uh, when you cut round beads, if you want to waste the most material that you can waste, cut anything round. And the reason is, is there's no saws or anything that cut round, right? You don't cut a round sphere. Right. So what you have to do is you cut a sugar cube, right? And then what you do is then you whittle that down, right? You cut that down to make it round. And that's what you do. And all of that turns to dust and you lose it all. So... That being said, you got unique material. This is also the, one of the very few times, the first times that I've actually thrown emerald into the mix. And like you said, the, the, the big three, emerald, ruby, and sapphire. Um, I didn't wanna waste my ruby material uh, because I have a project coming up. I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag, but <laughs> I have something very special coming up for you. I didn't have enough to include it into this. So you've got all the colors of sapphire, these incredible mines, the same thing. You're looking at three countries for the sapphires. So you're looking at actually four countries being represented here. Three countries for the sapphire, Mozambique, uh, Malawi, and uh, Tanzania. The emerald comes from Brazil. It's Brazilian emerald. So you've got four countries, but you've got, um, it, just in the sapphire alone, that came from 14 individual different deposits. The emerald came from at least a dozen little small mines, little small claims. Uh, the, you know, it wasn't one big, huge emerald mine. Right. It was all little, little private claims of emerald to put this together. I think that people, especially our viewers, they're educated and they they know the value and they see the value in this. And this is just an outrageous, stupid, ridiculous price. Um, I couldn't build this, even at my level and how I and how we buy and how we work and where we work mine direct. I couldn't build this and be able to even sell it close to that price. It would just be impossible. The cost of the materials would it, is just prohibitive. And these are all natural. They're not treated. They're not enhanced. They're not heat treated. There's been nothing done to this. Um, they're they're just the, the the genuine rough material that we've worked. And this also comes with a, a two and three quarter inch extender uh, chain, like uh, that's our signature finding. So you you get the necklace, but you still have that flexibility on how you want to nestle it or how you want to display it, how you want to wear it. Uh, it's just incredible. But what really is just blows it out of the water that makes it. Uh, I mean, you know, even if you just get this just to check it out, I mean, my gosh, you'll never uh, see it at that price. When you get this, I get this home, open the box, look at the color, look at the play of color. But here's the thing I want you to do. Feel the weight of this. Mm. This, it, the carat weight is through the roof. This isn't some little dinky uh, tchotchke um, necklace. This has weight to it. 
Uh, sapphire in em well, uh, sapphire is denser than emerald, but if you could feel the weight of this, it's just phenomenal. Well, there it is, folks. Thank you for shopping for us. Uh, for us, for Jay, we're selling Jay right now. So thank you for shopping for us. <laughs> um, thank you for shopping with us. We are seconds away from the grand finale item. Um, just before we get there, I want to tell everybody, Golden Dragon, we didn't get an opportunity to present it to you. Jay, in, in 20 seconds or less, tell us about the Golden Dragon. I know it's a very special uh, collection here on HSN. Okay, Golden Dragon, um, it, uh, it's an exclusive for us. Nobody else has this material. You're looking at the last.